Island codfish done on a Blackstone grill. You can't get any better than that. I don't care. You can go to New York City. You can go to Paris. You can go to Egypt. You can go wherever you like. London, England. You cannot get any better than Fogo Island codfish done on a Blackstone grill. Well, good day, folks, and welcome to Sunday here at the homestead, here at GBL, the old church, five-acre homestead. And welcome to a Sunday fish fry. That's what we're up to. That's what we're getting on to today here in the outdoor kitchen. Join me inside, folks. Come on, let's do it. This is our outdoor kitchen, folks, and you have seen this in many of our uh, cooking videos that we have showcased on our YouTube channel, and we are doing so again today. I must get inside and check our carrots. We have some carrots on the Denali three burner stove. They are cooking away right there. I'm gonna turn the heat down a little bit. Okay, so they're gonna simmer away there. We're gonna be making some julienne sweet carrots. And I'm gonna show you exactly how Mr. Gary does that. We also have some Brussels sprouts that Miss Betty truly, truly enjoys. And they're going on the grill. They're going on the Blackstone right over here, folks, in our outdoor kitchen. All of the ingredients is also here for our fish fry. We have some. North Atlantic cod from Fogo Island. That is incorrect. That is correct. Fogo Island codfish, in my opinion, is the best. Uh, you can choose something else, but Mr. Gary chooses Fogo Island codfish. We also have a variety of baby potatoes here, cut in half with some butter and some aromatic uh, herbs to go with them. So they're going on the grill also. Let's go over to the Blackstone again. Again, here's our Blackstone grill, folks. Mr. Gary was out here today, and I cleaned up this outdoor kitchen and prepped it all ready for our barbecue season. We have a little bit of flour there, wheat flour, and we also have some egg wash there for that codfish. It's going to be a great, great meal. Folks, I'm inviting you to join us in our outdoor kitchen here in the gathering place where friends become family here with mr gary and mrs betty at gbl the old church five acre homestead enjoy this video folks and stay with us as we prepare a beautiful beautiful sunday meal in our outdoor kitchen first things first folks so i need to prepare the blackstone grill so first thing i need to do is i need to turn on the gas this is a propane tank okay get that on there mr gary turn on the burners let's get some gas firing here here we go i'm going to turn on all the burners this time because we have fish to do and we also have potatoes to do and we also have some brussels sprouts to do so it's going to take the entire grill to do that. So let me fire her up and I'll get back to you in a second. Okay, I had the burners all fired up, folks. I'm going to open up my uh, my window here. This is my plexiglass sliding window. So I can open that, let out some of the heat, let out some of the smoke once we get started. I have some canola oil that I'm gonna use today on the Blackstone grill. So let me get some oil on this grill. I'm gonna do that now. For the liberal amount lots of oil all over this grill because as i said we're doing a fish fry we're doing some baby potatoes we're also going to do some brussels sprouts on this blackstone grill today look at that okay so lots of oil i'll spread that out now in a second canola oil is our vegetable oil of choice today Using my Blackstone spatula here now. I'm just spreading the oil over the surface of this Blackstone grill, folks. Making sure that the surface is evenly covered with the oil. And it is, and it is. So once that warms up now, we'll put on some of the baby potatoes first, followed by the Brussels sprouts, and then followed by the codfish. Okay, so this is the baby potatoes that Miss Betty has prepared. 
with aromatic spices and herbs and all that kind of stuff. She also has some little slivers of butter in there as well. So Mr. Gary is just gonna dump this on the Blackstone Grill and try to keep all of the baby potatoes, the butter and the herbs all underneath this tray. So let's do it. Okay. Okay, so let's keep it all underneath there. Okay, so there you have it. Okay, all of the potatoes are now underneath that tray with the butter and the herbs and all that kind of stuff. And they'll do just fine right here on this Blackstone Grill. We also have a tray of Brussels sprouts and we're gonna do the exact same thing. I'm gonna try to flip this on the grill and try to keep all of the Brussels sprouts uh, underneath. Okay, so let me see if I can do this. Okay. It all fit underneath. Okay, so there we have it. Okay, so potatoes are underneath the dome. The Brussels sprouts are underneath the dome. And over here in the, on this section of the grill, we're gonna do the fish. Let's prepare the cod fillets. There's some nice, uh, North Atlantic Fogo Island codfish going on the grill next, folks. So here's the cod fillets. They need to be dipped in the egg wash and then put into the flour, which contains pepper and salt, and then put on the Blackstone Grill. And let's not forget, let's not forget our carrots. They're simmering their way over here. This is going to be some sweet carrots in a second. I'm going to show you exactly how Mr. Gary makes sweet julienne carrots. So I have my codfish here, so I'm going to take a piece of codfish right now, and I'm going to put it in the egg wash. I've got a, a set of tongs here, and I'm going to just make sure that it's completely covered in egg wash, and I'm going to put it into the bag that contains flour, salt, and pepper, and I'm going to toss that around, okay, toss that around now, Mr. Gary. Get Lots of, lots of flour and lots of salt and lots of pepper on that fish. And then we're just going to take it out and lay it on the grill. Okay, one piece and we've got lots more to go. So stay tuned, folks. done on the Blackstone Grill. You can't get any better than that, folks. Delicious, delicious, delicious. I can tell you that. This is gonna be a beautiful, beautiful, awesome supper. Three pizzas and I have about five or six more to go. I'll see you very, very soon. Okay, this is the last of the pieces of a uh, Fogo Island uh, codfish going on the Blackstone Grill, folks. Here he goes, here he goes, there's the last face. Now, I need to clean up a little bit here, and then when I come back, we're gonna turn over that fish, and you're gonna get an exclusive look at Fogo Island Codfish on a Blackstone Grill. Time to turn over some of this Fogo Island Codfish, folks, here on the Blackstone Grill. It's been uh, cooking quite, quite well here on this Blackstone Grill today, and Mr. Gary is turning it over. Look at that delicious, delicious, delicious. And it's turning a nice golden brown. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I'm gonna zoom in now and show you some close-up shots of this Fogo Island codfish today on our Blackstone Grill. The codfish is doing very, very well, folks, here on the Blackstone Grill. Look at that, look at that. Here's our Blackstone Grill, folks. I have all of the burners turned down now. And in fact, I have a couple of them turned off. Okay, so the codfish is doing very, very well. Let's take a look at the Brussels sprouts. Look at that, Brussels sprouts and red onions. They're doing very, very well. 
under that little doll. Let's take a look at those baby potatoes. Oh my goodness! Look at that! Isn't that awesome? Going to be a delicious, a delicious meal here at GBL, the old church, five acre homestead today. Let's go over and take a look at those carrots, those julienne carrots. Okay, now I think they're they're very well done. I'm going to turn off this Denali three burner stove. So let's do that, Mr. Gary. Get in there and turn that burner off. Okay, that's done. Burner's turned off. Okay, now we're gonna move those aside. We're gonna put them on the grill next. Okay, let's take another look at that codfish, folks. And let's turn that codfish over again. Okay, doing quite, quite well here on the Blackstone Grill. Look at that. It is a nice golden brown. Fogo Island codfish done on a Blackstone Grill. You can't get any better than that. I don't care. You can go to New York City. You can go to Paris. You can go to Egypt. You can go wherever you like. London, England. You cannot get any better than Fogo Island codfish done on a Blackstone Grill. Now, we have a pan prepared here. It's warmed up a nice bit. And we're going to be doing our julienne carrots in a nice uh, in a nice sugary sauce. I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. We're gonna check on those potatoes. They're doing lovely, lovely, lovely. We're gonna check on those Brussels sprouts. Look at that. They're doing very, very well. I wish I had smell vision so you can smell the aroma coming off this Blackstone Grill this evening. Now, let's get that tray prepared for those carrots. Now, I'm using my EDC, my everyday carry. That's my Swiss Army knife. And I'm gonna put some pieces of butter. This is not margarine. This is 100% butter going in the base of this container right here on the Blackstone Grill. Come off my, you come off my knife right now, folks. Here we go. Let's get some pieces of butter in there. I'm gonna put in a nice liberal amount because I want the uh, carrots coated in a nice uh, buttery uh, buttery base. Come on, Mr. Gary, get some more butter in there. Get it over here in the tray. We'll put a little bit more. I'm using about half of a block, so probably about a half a cup of butter is going into the base of this tray. Now, we want to let that melt. We want to let that uh, reduce. So when that does that, we'll put in the carrots, and then we're gonna add, we're gonna add about a cup of sugar, and we're gonna add some Edie Smith syrup, Canadian maple syrup. Look at that. I know it's Canadian because it has the Canadian symbol on there. Look at that. It is Canadian. And that's gonna be delish, delish, delish. I'm soon gonna have, I'm soon gonna have to take the codfish off and put it in a tray. I've got lots and lots of those trays. Let me spin around. Let me spin around this outdoor kitchen. I'm looking at some of these drawers. There you go. Look at that. One right there waiting, waiting for Mr. Gary to put that codfish in. So let's do that because our beautiful, beautiful codfish needs to come off the grill. So let's do that. But I don't want, I don't want that codfish to be overcooked. So we're going to take them off. Beautiful, beautiful. Codfish steaks from Fogo Island. If you're not familiar with Fogo Island, Fogo Island is an island on the northeast coast of Newfoundland. And Newfoundland is a Canadian province on the eastern coast of the country of Canada. Newfoundland and Labrador joined Canada in 1949. And Fogo Island, of course, came along in the process and joined as well. Okay. Now, Fogo Island codfish is all done. The butter is sautéing quite, quite well. It is melting in this pan on the grill right here. I'm going to take a look at the Brussels sprouts. I'm going to flip them. Look at that. Aren't they browning nice, folks? Underneath that cover. Now... 
I think that cover might be a little bit on the small side, so I'm gonna see if I got a larger one. I do indeed. I have a larger one right here, so I'm gonna take that larger one and put that one right there. Now, I'm gonna remove this one. It's okay to touch, so I'm gonna move that over there. I'm gonna check on those potatoes as well. See how they're doing. They may need to be moved around. They do indeed. So I'm just gonna flip them. Some of them are nice and brown. But they do need, they do need to be sautéed a little bit more. They're on the bit, they're on the hard side a little bit. So now I'm going to put them back underneath the dome, and I might move them over here in a second. So we'll see how that goes. Put that dome back on those potatoes, Mr. Gary. There you go. Got all that covered up. Okay. Now the butter is almost done right there so I'm soon going to go over and dump in those carrots so let's do that here we go carrots goes in okay so there we go one more piece carrots are all in this tray covered in butter let's move it all around let's get the butter mixed in with these carrots okay I think they're all nice and covered in butter we're going to add in a bit of the sugar. I don't know if we need, it's a full cup there. So I'm just going to sprinkle in some. I don't think I need all of the sugar. So I had a cup there. So I've used about half a cup instead of a full cup. Okay, so let's move that around. Let's move that around, Mr. Gary. Julienne, sugar coated with butter, carrots. Look at that, delish, delish, delish. You know the only thing that would make that any better? If it was my own carrots. I will be growing lots and lots of carrots here on the homestead this coming summer, I can tell you that. Absolutely. Now, I'm gonna sprinkle in, sprink, I'm going to sprinkle in some of this Edie Smith syrup, Canadian maple syrup also going in. Now, just going to sprinkle that liberally. You might notice that Mr. Gary doesn't do anything by exact measurements because it's actually not necessary when you're cooking for your family. Look how gorgeous. Look how gorgeous that is. A nice liberal amount of maple syrup, I can tell you that, from Canadian maple trees. Maple trees that have been uh, sapped the sap has been uh, collected from the trees, and then the sap has been reduced into a fine, fine maple syrup. Folks, just look at that. Now, you got to tell me. you got to say to Mr. Gary, Gary, that looks delicious. Let's have another look at those Brussels sprouts. Look at that. Delish, delish, delish. Okay, we're going to look at those potatoes. Oh, my goodness. And that codfish is over here. That's our that's our spread. That's our supper this evening, folks. I've done a little bit of moving around, folks, half camera, of course. So let's have a look. So the potatoes are moved over here. The, uh, the burners, two burners are still on, on this Blackstone grill. They're turned down though, quite low. So the potatoes will be underneath that dome. The carrots are doing quite, quite well. Now, I do think that the Brussels sprouts are done. So I'm going to get I'm gonna get a small container over here. Those right here. Let me get one of those. Okay, here's one. I'm gonna take the Brussels sprouts off this grill right now and put them in that dome. Here we go. So I think they're done. So we just wanna keep them warm now. They're done quite, quite well. Don't lose that one, Mr. Gary. Okay, so here we go. All of our Brussels sprouts are done. They're in that little container. We'll leave it up here in the corner. It will stay warm up there. I'll put the spatula on top of it to keep the heat in. Now we don't need this dome anymore. Carrots are going quite well. Okay, I'm gonna move them over though because I wanna put the uh, I wanna put the fish up there as well. So I'm gonna do that next. Ready to take another look, folks? Let's take another look. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's look at the fish. 
Okay, it's there staying nice and warm underneath that dome. So let's keep that there. The burners are turned off, so they're just staying warm. Let's have a look underneath here. Here's the Brussels sprouts and the uh, red onions. Okay, we're gonna keep that warm right there as well. Let's have a look at those carrots. Oh, let's have a look at those carrots. Look at that. Don't they look delish? Okay, so they were just uh, julian carrots, boiled in salted water for about, about 30 minutes. And then they were put in this tray with some melted Canadian butter and some, uh, some sugar, about a half cup, and then some Canadian maple syrup. Okay, so they're gonna be delish. And here's those, here's those baby potatoes. Look at that. Oh my goodness gracious, they are done. They are done to perfection now, I do believe. Okay, I'm just gonna turn them a, uh, once more. So I wanna make sure that they are done. Some of them are done quite well, <laughs> in fact, but they are done really, really nice. Look at that. I'm gonna put the dome back on for just a few more minutes, and then we're going to plate this up and take it inside. There it is, folks. There is supper this evening here at GBL, the old church five-acre homestead. A beautiful, beautiful display of Fogo Island codfish done on a Blackstone grill. And we have some uh, some Brussels sprouts and uh, red onions, of course, also sauteed. We have some baby potatoes done to perfection. And of course, we have those Julian carrots also done in sugar and Canadian maple syrup. That's going to be our supper this evening. A beautiful, beautiful display of food. Homemade tartar sauce made by Miss Betty for our supper this evening. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful, beautiful spread, folks. Here you go. We're going to enjoy that this evening. Here we go. I want to thank you now for watching. I'm going to tune out very, very soon. Miss Rosie wants to start barking and Mr. Ruffles as well. There they are. Uh, I'm going to say goodbye. Thank you for watching. And we'll see you in our next video. Bye for now. There's the money shot, folks. Mr. Gary's Supper prepared here at GBL, the old church five-acre homestead in our outdoor kitchen on the Blackstone Grill. Here we have Fogo Island codfish, sweet julian carrots, baby potatoes, and Brussels sprouts. A beautiful, beautiful meal, all prepared on a Blackstone Grill. Enjoy, bon appetit, and we'll see you later, folks. Mr. Gary, signing out.